Hey guys, Technivers here. Today we're going to be going over the new release of Kira 4.4. just came out today and we're going to go over a couple of the new options. One of the big things in this version of Kira is what they call the intent profile and it comes stock with three intent profiles. The first is going to be the draft profile and it's a little bit less accurate, a little bit rougher, but made to do faster printing for mock-up style prints. The next level is going to be the visual level and that one is for super smooth surfaces, a crisp look for making models, architectural models, um, uh, prototype models that you want to actually have a nice finish and look a little bit better. They're not done quite as quickly. The last profile, intent profile they have is the engineering profile and that is apparently supposed to be for accuracy and perfection of your actual CAD model. So it's going to be supposedly the most accurate print that you can get from Kira. So we're going to take a look at those, poke around, probably won't be printing anything today. We're going to be checking out a lot of the settings. I know they also made a change to the change at layer height script. So it now displays a proper message when it's time to change the filament. Let's jump right into the software. And all right, here we are. We've got everything opened up. It is installed, ready to go. I saved you the hassle of having to watch me install the software this time. Um, and we are checking out what's new. So first you see the intent profiles. Uh, this is pretty epic. It says, what's the intent of your print? A rapid prototype, a visual prototype, an end use part with specific hole sizes. Intent profiles accelerate the CAD CAM workflow by pre-configuring all the right settings in Ultimaker Kira for each of these use cases. A little bit better explanation. The draft setting is intended for initial prototypes and concept validation and will print your design in the shortest time possible. The engineering setting is intended for high dimensional accuracy to print functional prototypes and mechanical end use parts. The visual setting is intended for visual prototypes and prints that need excellent aesthetic quality. For now, these profiles work with blah, 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 and tough PLA and ABS material, uh, and include PVA and breakaway combinations. More profiles will follow over time. Some of the other updates include per model settings, specify network printer, performance improvements. This includes various tweaks under the hood for a snappier, more responsive interface. We're going to take a look around and see if anything jumps at us out at us in that category. SDK version increment. Um, posit height message. This is the other one I was interested in. A setting has been added to the posit height script that displays a custom message on the screen. That's pretty cool as well. Uh, restore window preference. Group Linux instances. Known bugs. Let's see. Kira not starting on Windows 10. Some users started reporting that Kira 4.3 and higher did not start properly. Uh, I am running Windows 10 and 4.4 opened up. No problem for me. I have only opened it once, so I guess maybe that's a per instance thing, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, there are some minor improvements, and they made some updates to some third-party printers as usual, and bug fixes. So, um, that's pretty much the gist of it. Let's see if we can find these intent profiles here. I'm not sure... where exactly it's going to be. So it turns out the intent profiles are currently only available for certain printers. You can see here it does show up under profile. It doesn't show up on my Ender 3, but if I go into settings, switch my printer over to the S5 here. Once it loads, uh, you can see it switched to Ultimaker and you can see this here where it says fine. Um, you can also see it says default visual engineering and draft these are the options the, the intent profiles that are available for the Ultimaker S5 so not available for every printer yet I do hope that they make that an addition that I can use on my Ender 3 uh, and Ender 5 as well but let's go ahead and take a look at the post-processing script for posit height I'm not seeing a message there. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's only on this one, but there is a display text here. Um, let's pause at height. Now, where's pause at layer? Hmm. I thought they had one of those in here too, but I'm not seeing it. So, um, overall, no major updates. The intent profiles are pretty nice, but they're not going to be advantageous to you unless you have a specific printer. 
and the ones made by Ultimaker obviously have priority because this is their software. So I'll keep an, uh, an eye on this, and we will keep you up to date with any other future changes. I'm going to play around with this some more. We'll probably have another video on 4.4 after I've dove into it a little bit deeper. But for now, it's looking like things are pretty good. I did want to check one more thing real quick. Let's go to horizontal expansion. You still can't see the negative sign. Now, I have confirmed that the horizontal expansion does do negative horizontal expansion, but for some reason, you just can't see the negative sign anymore. And it wasn't that way before 4.2.3, so um, I hope they fix that. I have sent a bug report and a couple other messages. Probably not very high on their priority list since technically it's working. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below. If you like this video, we have tons of other videos on Slicers on our channel we are currently uh in love with matter control as well so they're the only slicer i found that's really comparable to kira it is a free slicer so check that out i can put a card up in right here um and then yeah smash that like button like i said subscribe to the channel we got lots of videos coming out they're pretty much all on 3d printing and there will be more in the future so that's going to be it guys technivorous out And as always, guys, I am Technivorous. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. You can subscribe right here by clicking on the icon. And I put a couple videos up in the corner. One of them is going to be my latest video, my latest upload. And the other one is going to be what YouTube recommends for you. So feel free to check those out. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications down below. And we'll see you guys next time.